This is the first time uh, after COVID when we meet the national focal points. And then we are also starting a new program that is the Doha Program of Action. So it's very important. Uh, it has got uh, several takeaways. One of them is uh, just how we can bring and take this, uh, the six initiatives of the Doha Program of Action and adopt them or contextualize them in our uh, country context. Uh, the biggest and most important thing I took from this meeting of ADCs is that domestication is the key in actual implementation of the DOA program as Rwanda has been doing it so in the past in the past years through the National Strategy for Transformation. As a national focal point, I'm learning on how to mainstream the Istanbul program of action and also the next uh, LDC program, which is the DOA program of action into our national development plans, policies and strategies. So that's what I'm taking back home in terms of advocating for the program of action. Le contenu veut dire pour moi que on ne se contente pas de, de regarder et d'analyser les généralités, mais on rentre de manière honnête, franche, au niveau des vrais défis, des vrais problèmes, des contraintes qui empêchent nous autres, PMA. The second thing I can say is technology bank, which I even move off to my superiors, how this technology bank has supported ADCs to graduate. In Rwanda, we have been always, always wanting to become uh, the middle income country, and we are planning also to follow the whole process, but also uh, learn from other countries who have already graduated. We are also learning from our colleagues, those who are graduating, from the least developed countries like Bhutan and Bangladesh. So we are actually trying to pick some of the best experiences, uh, the practices that these countries that are graduating are actually implementing so as also to help us as a country to achieve the graduation, to sustain the graduation. You know, you don't want to graduate and then start struggling and go back to the same uh, challenges that we have been facing as least developed countries.